Uh, the federal government has banned any direct purchase of farm produce involving indigenous farmers and foreign nationals. The new regulation, which is to ensure that Nigerian farmers are not shortchanged, now mandates all foreign nationals to go through licensed local buying agents to do business with the farmers. The Minister of Trade and Investment, Ni Adibayo, disclosed this to State House correspondent shortly after the weekly virtual Federal Executive Council meeting presided over by Vice President. President Yemi Oshibajo at the council chambers of the presidential villa. According to him, the federal government has okayed appropriate mechanisms to ensure competitive prices for commodities of indigenous farmers in a bid to protect them from exploitation and also ensure that they have the appropriate incentives to guarantee their continued participation in their trade. Adebayo said he presented two memos on behalf of his ministry, one of which was for the promotion of agribusiness in Nigeria through the right farm gate pricing and ban of foreign nationals and their representatives from purchasing agricultural commodities at the farm gates. Earlier on our breakfast show, our former chairman, agriculture and non-oil sector at the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Prince Wale Oyekoya, said the move is counterproductive as it will make farmers lose their produce. What we produce in Nigeria, 60% of it got rotten through wetting. But these people, the foreigners that you are trying to buy from buying our farm produce, they add value to what we cannot add value. And for them to be banned, to be buying our produce, it's going to be a counterproductive. In the sense that that is the least of the problem of farmers nowadays. What happened to the commodity price control? Where is the price control? There's nothing like price control in Nigeria. That is why you see all kind of stuff just coming into the market. And no one is regulating it, no one is controlling it. So it's not the issue of foreigners coming to market for what we have at the farm gate. But the policy that is going to be sustainable to really assist the farmers and to bring the price of goods down completely, because most Nigerians are complaining about the price of the food stock, coupled with all the infrastructure deficit, coupled with all the uh, all kind of other stuff like the security and bandit, uh, price of crude oil, price of fuel, price of diesel. Right now, this is about six hundred naira plus. The government is not addressing this. And this are the multiply effect that is going to happen on the, on the consumer. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.